Today we're talking stock market. Stay connected. Oh yeah, what's poppin' everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Peter. I'm a certified investor, personal finance enthusiast, and I'm also an IT professional. And on this channel, we talk all things investing, economy, retirement, and of course, mindset. So make sure you like, subscribe, notification bell. That way you don't miss out any of my special content. Okay, let's go. As always, guys, here on Game of Finance, we're bringing positive change. Inspire, help, learn, share ideas, grow, and of course, good leadership. So please make sure you stay safe, stay healthy, and now, without further ado, let's get this work. All right, all right, guys, let's begin. Investing 101. Topic of the day: stock market. Follow along, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and begin from here. We're gonna jump into the section, and we're gonna end up here. So that's gonna be the follow-up. All right. Full beans. All right, guys, let's begin. Let's go. Investing 101, stock market. This little section here. Let's take a look at the whole segmentation of some of the entities right here. Let's begin. Stock market participants. Beginning with the brokers, investors, and traders, government, stock exchange, market regulators, and of course, the companies. They all play a key part in this whole cell here. Major key for all of them. So very important for any soon to be intermediate or experienced investor to know about all this process here and the key players. All right. So you need to know and understand this is part of the investing. It's not just opening an account, putting money and hey, I'm an awesome investor. No, no, that's not how it goes. You need to know all this. That's what's gonna make you a better investor and increase your IQ, all right? So very key, brokers, investors and traders, government, stock and exchange, market regulator, and company. Those are the participants, all right? Let's go. All right, guys, continuing along. Another term for the stock market, equity market. It's one of the things that I love about the stock market equity it gives you flexibility and instant access what's the benefit simple guys it enables us to increase personal wealth that's why you see this line here wealth hopefully increase your bill and increase your wealth throughout the years for you and your family two of the major keys for the equity market central and convenient that's centralized and convenient keys are essential for us as investors to, because it makes it easier for us to perform. So there's no excuse right now for you to not because it's central and convenient. You get more of your time for you to study and invest on yourself. So this is key right here, right? Now, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the stock exchange. One of the participants here in the stock market sell they have many of them, but we're just going to be talking very brief. And let's just mention the two major ones here in the U.S., which is the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ. Those are the two majors here in the U.S. And of course, you have depending, depending on the geographic, you have, you know, like the Japan and London as far as the international. So, so you get more familiar as, as far as the some of the participants and in this, in this case major ones here in the u.s okay so pen and paper ready let's go what is the stock market this section here that's what we want to know very simple guys it's a place where securities of many companies are issued and traded either through the exchange or over the counter markets all right so let's begin here. Securities, that means stocks, ETF, index funds, etc. If you notice, I say security, that way you get familiar on the lingo as far as the investing ecosystem. That's what we refer to, the securities. We're trying to buy businesses, guys, okay? If you notice here, of 
many companies are issued and traded, all right? That's key. Either through the exchange, like I mentioned, going down here, the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ, or over the counter. You mainly you see the over the counters as far as the, and referring to the international stocks, the international security. You see the OTC, that's the abbreviation for over the counter. All right, guys? So that's the user friendly definition when we're talking about the stock market, okay? So let's move along, guys. Pen and paper ready, okay? Green section here. Functions and purpose of the stock market, right? So the way I see the stock market is like a real estate source right here. It's the big gathering for us as investors and the other entity, the brokers, the companies, the regulators. It allowed us to begin a transaction as far as the buying, the selling, etc. okay? So it's the big meeting. That's the stock market source. Functions and purpose, well, it allows businesses to be publicly traded. That's what they looking, guys. From private to a public company. Next, helps raise capital for expansion. Also another benefit, if the company grows, and it is able to expand, that means we are also able to grow our wealth and keep investing. It's a major key, guys. Then, of course, buying and selling shares, of course, promotes industrial and economy growth. Major key helps to revise sectors. This one is key right now. Ecom guy, that's what's popping right now. Shopify, Amazon. If you are looking to get into opening your own business or you're in that process already, you need to know about Ecom guys. It's the next level. If you're unaware or for some reason you just like not into it, you better think again. You need to, this is a must have, must know. Ecom, major key. Next, mobilizes and distributes. Another benefit of the stock market, one of the uh, you know, uh, as far as the functional and purposes, it serves as another benefit as well and brings stability. That is obvious. We have seen this throughout the many of the decades, guy, even right now, and increases liquidity and margin. That's one of the things that we love about the stock market that liquidity benefit. We're able to turn that money into cash or reinvest right away into another company. Okay, so major key guys, function and purpose. I hope you writing all this stuff down guys. All right, so next. So now we're gonna focus on this yellow section here. It's going to be regarding the two main sections for the stock market, okay? So, oh, all right. Stock market, two main sections. Primary market and the secondary market. Let's begin with the primary. The company sells shares to the public for the first time, known as the IPO. That's the initial public offering, right here. Initial public offering, okay? Now, touching the secondary market. Well, investors, traders, buy and sell securities. That's the main focus of those two sections, all right? I hope you writing all this stuff down, guys. Okay, so pay attention, let's go. Cool beans. So now we're gonna go to the blue dot right here. Still, we're still touching the two main sections, the primary market and the secondary market, okay? So what exactly is going on in that process, in the primary market? Who's there, all right? Let's touch base. Primary market, who is there? Who's the beneficiary? Well, it's gonna be the company, of course. Well, that's obvious, all right? What is the process here? The functions and the purpose of the primary market? Well, it's gonna be to raise money for many reasons, guys. This could be for a project, increase employees, expansion, etc. right? And of course, that final step in the primary is gonna be the IPO, this right here, initial public offering. 
when this is complete, now we go to the next one, which is gonna be secondary market. So who's there? Well, who's the beneficiary? It's gonna be us, the investors, the shareholders, the traders right here. So the function and the purpose is gonna be capital appreciation. Of course, that's what we want to build wealth. The company is able to do good also. Okay, we're gonna be doing good as well. Okay, so, and of course, you'll see in the secondary market, you'll see the open marketplace where the companies are already being offered. The buy and the selling, the researching, all the good stuff. So, cool being guys, let's go to the next one. So, yellow dot right here. Factors for fluctuation. So, which one is the top one? Let's check it out, watch. Most essential concept is the basic law of supply and demand, guys. That's the top one. If you see a lot of volatility, one of the main reasons is because supply and demand. However, there are many other uh, factors to consider. Check it out. Oh, let's begin with sentiment. Next one, consumer confidence, especially right now. Inflation, the Fed's injecting money into the economy, that's gonna trigger volatility. Next, bank rates, major key. Speculation pressure, actions of underwriters. This, this could be banking, you know, the financial institution, or it also could be the investment firms, right? Next, market trends. Example, e-commerce, frenzy right now popping or the biotech right now okay next is going to be the government policies and global markets so those are the ones to consider you can also put this as a checklist if you see a lot of volatility number of securities going up and down like crazy you have to confirm all these factors here then again the top one you know that it's going to be supply and demand all right guys so who be guys so now we're gonna touch base regarding the bonus tips fun facts all right right here this green dot bull and bear market all right so what is the relation of you know of those two animals to the stock market all right let's break it down let's see. let's begin with the bull market fun facts well the bull which way does the bull attack well up from down up that's what it means you swipe up that, that's the nature of the bull all right very simple so what's the relation well stocks are rising economy is expanding unemployment is falling or stable now the average length it depends let's take into consideration the run right now just it just happened it was a 10 year it was awesome all right so it all depends it could be less or it could be more all right next you'll see the 20 percent outtake next one which is major key is optimism you'll see it re very very related optimism it relates to bull market going up now moving along with the bear market what are the fun facts the factors all right, so let's see. For the bear market, the bear attacks from top to bottom. So they attack down with their claws, you know, by biting. Same nature. The bear market is going down. So factors: the economy contracting, unemployment is rising. You'll see the 20% downturn. Average, the average length you know, a year, but of course it could be more. So you have to keep an eye on that and prepare. You'll see this, the pessimism, very related to the bear market. And you'll see the securities going down. So those are the fun facts, bonus for, as far as the knowing and understanding the concept for the bull and the bear market. All right, guys. And another tip, guys, another bonus real quick. For those two, this blue here, 
for the bull and the bear, you can make money on both. You can make money on the bull and the bear market. That's why I wrote here, bull makes money, bear makes money, period. There's no policy, there's no rule, any old guidelines is it, gonna prevent you from earning money on both. You can earn money here, but you can also earn money and grow your wealth on the bear market. You just gotta do your homework big time. That's that's all it takes. You're grinding, you study, put it on your work, you'll be able to take advantage of both regardless. Bull or bear market will still make money, all right? All right, guys, hope you find this content valuable. Please do diligence. Key, you gotta do your homework, do diligence. Please, if you have any questions, comment, place them down below, all right? Also guys, I wanted to share my investing one-on-one -on -one prime guide for all the beginner investor or soon to be. Go ahead, submit your name, email, submit, and we'll take you straight to the download link. That's simple, it's free, so no excuse, all right? And also for my Latin Spanish people, I got you. La misma forma, sometan su nombre, Correo electrónico, someta, los llevará al sitio web y de ahí pueden bajar el guía de estudio completamente gratis. So no hay excusa, mi gente, ¿ok? So someta, bajen y pónganse en estudiar, ¿ok? Remember, Call of Duty Keys. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and notification bell. That way you don't miss out any of my content. Cool beans, ¿ok? So, appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and I see you on the next chapter. This wraps it up. Work hard, work smart. I'm out.